Okay, we are live Friday night. I don't have the third camera here tonight. Not sure why it's working, but this is the drawing club, daily drawing club, the Raz drawing club on the planet. Today's art question of the day is tips for character design. I get a lot of that. Um, not sure why, I guess, you know, I'm an okay character designer. I kind of make it up on the fly tonight. I'm going to make up a character live here and kind of just walk through that. We're going to make a character from scratch together. Um, if you're watching in the replay, be sure you leave a comment. And if you have any questions and put them in the live chat, we'll have a little conversation here tonight. Um, just about anything you want for the next half an hour or so, let's say. And before I get into that, um, it's time to do the today's challenge. And today's challenge is going to be... Let's see. My God, there's no, there's nothing there. Did I did I erase it? Oh, great! It's a scribble challenge, everybody. <laughs> I must have I must have chosen chosen the wrong thing. Anyways, scribble challenge. This is the nice warm up here. <laughs> there's nothing. There's no challenge tonight. We just get to look at this uh, scribble. So if you're not familiar with Scribble Challenge, this is the exercise that I do a lot. Um, we do it in the drawing club a little bit too. And um, can't figure out where the uh, where that went to. Man, it was right there. Hmm, interesting. Uh, so this is what I scribbled up. I'm gonna just go ahead, do this up really quickly here. And in the meantime, if you wanna throw some uh, Items inside of the chat for a character design, just some random items, throw them in there. Something that we can include on this character that we're going to design together live tonight. Um, where is my scribble at, guys? What's going on? There we go. There we go. So scribble challenge works like that. You just basically randomly scribble something. I just ran, I scribbled that one. And I'm going to pull out the first thing that I see here. Um, I should probably look at it a little bit instead of talking too much. But that's kind of the idea. You can scribble really small and kind of just pull out the first thing you, you see. You can even turn it here. Like I might turn it there. And I'm just going to go ahead and just be easy with this one, I think, because I see something you know, right there. And um, even if it doesn't make sense, you know, you want to pull it out. Oops. Just draw it out. So I might start with like the shape there. And man, I'm really bummed that my other camera is not working. I don't know why. Got stream time. I turned on the OBS and the little side camera that shows my hands isn't working tonight. I'm not sure why. I probably need to just restart my computer or something. And I literally sat down with like 20 minutes to the stream to go and, uh, you know, that's the, uh, oh, look, there it is. Get out of here. Clear that. It was, it was, it was there the whole time. Now we're upside down. I knew it was on one of these layers. I'm losing my mind tonight. Yeah, so I'm not sure what day. This is like day 11 of live streaming, um, not including the the work uh, live streams I do in the morning. Thanks for joining, Lola. Lola was in there this morning watching some comics and System of Stuff stopped by. I'm not sure if you guys, how long you stayed for, but thanks for popping in there. It's pretty cool. Um, working on the Be Friends comics. Here I'm working on a little bit of... Uh, some kind of, um, this looks like a duck, of course, with like a, like a virtual headset of some kind on to me, right? It doesn't, oh, that, that's even, that's that kind of 
kind of works out pretty perfectly actually now i can see the whole wing part of the duck here All right oh, that's fine it doesn't have to make sense that's the thing you can scribble it up as much as you want and uh the whole the whole point is just to kind of get your pencil moving now i usually do this in the mornings not at night i've been drawing all day long so not that i'm a little burnt out or anything but i've been drawing all day so a little warmed up already so this is a great uh, this is a great thing uh in the chat if you want to there's only four of you here tonight live so thanks for being here on a friday night five people um scribble challenge let's do another one real quick since my scribbles back up i'll just basically do the same thing go down here change to my pencil brush real quick and um you know i'll just scribble something out right like that and then you know you're just kind of looking at it so when you feel stuck you can turn it around start to see things you know and you could flesh it out for as long as you want i try to just draw the first thing i see i'm not really seeing anything just yet kind of see i'm always seeing birds so i challenge myself not to see birds but i'm gonna just draw this out because i see it this is what it is it is what it is but it doesn't have to be a regular bird it can be like a this one's gonna be like a weird and this is going to tie into the character design thing here in a minute too um, because one of the tips for the, the question of the day was tips for character design so we're going to design a character from scratch here in a minute if you want to put in the chat things you'd like to maybe see included in the um, random thing that i'm going to draw random character design tips um, we're going to draw one live here. I kind of see like this, like a weird sea line of some kind. And maybe he's kind of smelling his armpit. I don't know. Or, <laughs> or some kind of, some kind of critter. Here. Maybe this is like his tail. You can add on things, right? Just about using, kind of just uses your imagination a little bit. Maybe he's balancing on a ball of some kind. Just make a ball. Call it a... <laughs> Very silly. That's another thing, like, I just can't stress enough how many artists out there are overthinking their work. Um, of course you can look at my other artworks way better than these little scribbles here. And I'm going to probably do a, some kind of seal, man. Yeah, David, it's like a seal. doesn't have to make sense. It's like a seal balancing on some, some kind of aardvark looking seal. Maybe he's got some buck teeth there. Like, don't forget to, you know, have fun with it. Maybe he's got like some weird eyebrows. Maybe there's just maybe there's something about this too. Right. I just keep you could just keep going in your sketchbook or whatever until you have some kind of weird abstract monster. I see birds, I see robots, I see ducks a lot of time. Um that's the um that's the exercise. I'm always, you know, doing these scribble challenges over on TikTok, things like that. You can see those in the past, but sometimes we slam them out in the daily drawing club, by the way, don't forget become a member you can become a member of the daily drawing club we have 5 a.m prompts 10 percent off merch quarterly sticker i'm dj kaufman on all platforms read the v friends comic strips that we're doing um at v friends platforms not right now but just remember that come back to it and uh tomorrow we have a weekend members only stream at noon tomorrow so i'll probably talk about something a little bit more special or something some special topic that i'll put together tomorrow that pertains to the newsletter or artist life in general. So, all right, 
tips for character design. So, um, what do we have here? Lola, I think, you know, sick boots. I think maybe that's what you were putting in there. Um, Steph put a bunch of stuff. So we're just going to grab the stuff that Steph said. So hockey stick, eyeball, teacup, red sunglasses, platform sneakers. We'll try to include all of that in this, this character, actually. Um, easy enough. So what I just... Okay, let's just start right from my thinking of character design. If uh, someone was telling me, draw that, that into a character... Um, the first thing that I do is very similar to Scribble Challenge, actually, and I'm going to want to get rid of these scribbles, actually, real quick. Cut. Just turn those off. Nope. Hmm. Cut. I not on the right layer. I'm having some trouble here tonight, guys. I'm struggling. I'm on the struggle bus tonight. What's going on here? Nothing seems to be working. Cut and paste. There we go. All right. So I'll keep those scribbles somewhere. Just give me a whole new layer for the tips for character design. So the first thing I'm going to do, a peg leg. All right, cool peg leg. I'll write that down up here. Big leg. Fine. Um, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to keep all those kind of things in mind. Platform sneakers, red sunglasses, sick boots, peg leg. What else? Anything else in the comments here? Let me see. Uh, finally made it. Hey, Pebbles, how's it going? Yeah, character design. I'm kind of going through like how I would approach a character design. Um, because a lot of it has to do with like messing around a little bit. Just messing around. So the first thing I'm going to do is I kind of want to draw like a... like Nobody said like a type of characters. No one said that. So what I'm thinking is some kind of like gorilla character too. Like... So I'm going to start really small here. There's just going to be really, and I'm basically scribbling a silhouette of some kind. So I'm going to just scribble out a couple of things. And I want it to be interesting looking. So I'm going to give it like a skinny waist, a big head here. And I just went with like a monkey gorilla sort of thing. So I'm just, again, just kind of scribbling out some kind of interesting silhouette that would highlight some of those things that we just said. So peg leg, and then probably like a platform view on this side. Doesn't make any sense at all. And if he's gonna have a teacup, I wanna have, you know, maybe a little tiny teacup right here. What else? Red sunglasses. All right, cool. We'll put those on top. Like, I'm just kind of figuring out the character shape. Right? And I might not stick with that one. I might go, like, what if I want to put more energy into it? Like, uh, I'll get the gesture down. And since it's a character design, we want to show a good bit of the... A good bit of the character. And then maybe you could start naming him in the chat if you want. That could be fun. And I think he's going to have like a gorilla type body or face of some kind. I'll get in there. Oh, yeah. I'm kind of liking this. I'm liking that kind of pose there. And then he'll have a little, a little teacup there. Um, what else did I say? A banana phone? All right, cool. Banana phone. Run off his... Um, do that. Hanging off his chest there. Maybe it's got like a cord. So I'm just really just doing basically scribble, um, scribble gesturing, we'll call it. I'm just trying to get a nice shape so that if it was a character design, 
I might do this. I might do this. I might draw this character like 20 or 30 times. But tonight, for the stream's sake, I'm just going to keep it very, very loose. Did I miss anything? Stick. We can get that eyeball and this hockey stick. Okay. We'll just go ahead and <laughs> just throw it in there. All right. Um, hockey stick, eyeball, teacup, red sunglasses, platform sneakers. And I think platform sneakers, sick boots will make them kind of like high tops. He's got his little peg leg here. Great. So I'll, I like that pose going on there. So I'm going to take that over the other one and then I'm going to grab it. And I'm going to kind of blow it up. And now move him over here. And really it's just about messing around. So the reason I brought up scribble challenge in connection to this is because um, when I talk to a lot of animators in the past, they'll say like, and I've heard some animators speak on this as well. They'll say that some of the greatest um, <clears throat> character designs came from random scribbles. Let's just up that opacity a little bit for the stream. Uh oh. Just enough. Rufus Chunk and Masters aren't. He's already got the uh, tea enthusiast. I guess can vote out the uh, the name of the character here. I'm going to go ahead and put another layer. I might try to pencil this out with like a darker. Yeah, that will look better. I'm trying to go with what might look good on the stream there. All right. So. I've drawn a lot of monkey faces, so and I might just, it might not be like a typical. I'm just going to start with the face, you know. Maybe it's kind of a Bigfoot. I don't know. Let's see. Again, you can kind of have, you can kind of just have fun with it. I start with that silhouette and then we're going to kind of work on the anatomy of, you know, this guy's like a big gorilla looking thing. So his head's probably like the anatomy of a gorilla head kind of just like becomes part of the, the body, right? It's very silly. Now I might not just make it all muscle anatomy. It would be cool to like maybe put some clothes on him, you know, like a V-neck sort of wife beater looking thing. And then the banana phone cord can be like right here. Maybe it's like banana phone. And then you let your imagination kind of go if you don't have something from a writer, or your own imagination, but like maybe this banana phone rings whenever there's a mission. He's having tea right now. Right. It can be kind of fun. Get really detailed if you want, like. So bummed that this other camera's not working. It makes me so so mad. But technology, what are you gonna do? It's a good reminder to start. I need to really set up, and when I set up before the stream about a half an hour, I'm usually like thinking about what I'm gonna 
you know, say or whatnot, but I don't really plug in the instruments until later. But. Yeah, so pretty easy to do a nice silhouette. So like, even if like he was very small, you would see that hockey stick. I forgot the, the red sunglasses they would be probably up here on his head. Let's do some round. Just picture them red, you know? Early ear hole things. I don't like this eye over here. I need to include an eyeball, so I think I got. It can be weird, you know. Like I'm not going to include his eyeballs. That'd be cheating. Um. Let's see what else. Hey, one-eyed schizopath. <laughs> Thanks for watching. We're doing some uh, character character design tips. I started small with a silhouette and now I'm just kind of fleshing it out. The chat kind of put this in. Can you draw me? I don't know what you look like. Um, but you can try that on some other stream. Make sure you're subscribed and future stream. Maybe we'll do some like I'll draw you stuff. Yeah. So it's pretty lame to just kind of you could start with just like knowing, is he wearing pants? Yes, I want him to be wearing pants. So I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna stick with just drawing anatomy. I'm gonna kind of draw over the form that's there. Cause you can see I had the calf muscle there. Now I'm kind of figuring out like what kind of pants is he wearing? Like, you know what? I'll kind of want to have his pants rolled up a little bit. And uh, that way we can kind of highlight one of the key features of this is the platform sneakers. So we're gonna go ahead and draw a sneaker of some sort. Not a Nike, but you know, and then it's a platform sneaker, so I might have told you this story before. Some people might have heard it. But whenever I was in high school, the mayor of Palm Springs was Sonny Bono. And there was a really bad car accident or bus accident with like some Girl Scouts. And I was working at the hospital as like a like a volunteer. And he came to the hospital and they were all excited. They're like, oh, the mayor's here, Sonny Bono. And I looked down, he got off like a helicopter. And we had to greet him. And I looked down and he's wearing these like plat these kind of shoes. Cause he was so um he was so short. He was a little dude. So for like press conferences and stuff, they would like put like a little box down for him to stand on top of. <laughs> and he wore he wore these giant platform shoes. That's you know, every time I think of Sonny Bono. I think of that and you know he died skiing he hit a tree after all that success being a mayor you just never know so yeah he's got some adventure pants on here yeah you could just add really i don't really have any s sound tips as to like you want to add those key things that the writers have told you uh in this case, a hockey stick eyeball I'm missing an eyeball. I got a teacup over here. There's a little, little thumb on that, holding it very daintily. I'm gonna draw the little teacup, like a little flowery teacup here. Maybe there will be a flower on the teacup because, just because. That's kind of how he's. I don't think that. 
get up. Kind of want to have his arms exposed so that you could see that he's furry. Obviously he's furry, but maybe his fur is like really... I can get in there and just kind of shadow out the for a little bit right so it's got kind of like a there was a comic called monkey man and o'brien from back in the day i got that vibe looking to me right now that i'm thinking about it like an adventurous gorilla character you might get in and start messing around with like does he have an interesting facial hair shape so that's the other thing like after you've gotten the form you can start messing around with with that and then like eyeball like i already thought of this was kind of lame but i'm just gonna have him have an eyeball around his neck on like a leash or, like a chain this might be something that i would because i'm thinking like semi doctor strange that eye of whatever it's called but this would look like a real you know a real eyeball perhaps it talks or something and it can see things that he can't see i don't know it really wasn't a story design but you got to kind of like think about you know when in doubt kind of just black it out with this this brush that I'm using, I can kind of just tilt it on its side and, you know, um, it becomes a nice shading, shading it in. Kind of rough start, but that's kind of the tip for character design is maybe try a scribble challenge, you know, try, I kind of want his peg leg to be a little weird here just because a sombrero okay okay hmm. let me think could i oh, oh no it'll be weird let me, let me think about that this one's super weird because you know i've got a banana phone wrapped around his waist here for, for no real reason emergency phone um peg leg i'm gonna go with one of those classic you know the classic peg leg i think <laughs> with probably like a, a metal you know tip at the end and it's made of wood. Let's go with that. How did he lose his leg? You know, that's another thing. Like as you're creating the character, if you have no, if you have no direction from a writer, as far as like where this character came from, even just kind of throwing a little bit of, throwing a little bit of shadow down there. Ooh, second eyeball in the teacup. Mm. Maybe the, you know. Like that. Yeah. And sometimes if you're getting really imaginative, they'll, they'll, the characters will start talking to you. You know, so this one already said something to me. He said that, you know, like, show me the way. Hey, Dan. Good evening. 
so tonight the tip the tips or the question was tips do i have tips for character design so i decided to just make make up a character from scratch based on some stuff from the chat sombrero came late i'm gonna try i don't know what my mind sombreros look like right now okay um let's let's you know what let's try it though so let's move these glasses down a little bit Oh, come on. Come on. Let's go. I'm going to add a sombrero to our... Oh, what was this man's... Um, what was this man's name? Rufus Chonk McMasters, amateur monkey, hockey player, and tea enthusiast. Also, supernatural detective. I, I added the supernatural thing. All right, so sombrero boy. I'm not gonna look. I'm not gonna look it up. I kind of just go with. <laughs> oh, you know, I'm gonna go with my mind sombrero. It's looking ridiculous, right? It's like. And now we know he's a, like, maybe he's like L. Rufus Chalkman Masters. Right. That's ridiculous. But it would make for an interesting silhouette shape, right? You would know when the sombrero is coming at you. I feel like that's the most stereotypical I mean sombrero ever. Like the little things I meant from it. Am I wrong? I don't know. There is no right or wrong. And I think that's the that's the uh, message for people that are like character design. How do I do that? I just showed you. We took some stuff from the King Rufus collector of things. Things I like that too. Let's get rid of that. Senior Rufus Chalk McMasters. I like that. Um, how did he lose his leg? What's up with this eye? I mean, these are all questions for, you know, story time writer, the writer. Um, but it's actually kind of fun. Like this could be a whole, you know, YouTube. Fun to do this on the stream, actually. You know, my brain's a little bit very, very loose right now from drawing all day. So, yeah, wood chipper accident, <laughs> of course. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just now that red's a little bit, I'm just gonna fade that out a little bit so we can kind of see. Senior Rufus Chonk McMasters. Um, really, it could be a lot of fun. I think the problem, the biggest problem with character design is maybe people overthink it. Like, like, oh, that wouldn't... Like, I almost didn't put this sombrero on him. And it does look quite ridiculous. I mean, it doesn't make any sense because it's not supposed to. This is what we... This was, de this was the design of this character. And I'm going to write his name over here so I don't forget senior Rufus I can't believe I did all that in we're about 20 seconds until the uh, alarm senior Rufus Chonk McMasters quite a quite a uh, heritage there And then from there, you can kind of really just get, you know, does he have, you know, now that this, this wife beater shirt that he has here, maybe it's like one of those, I like flames. Flames always make, like he's like a wrestler or something. 
so you can kind of add costume design to it a little bit you know it's already like that suit's already looking a little awesome <laughs> Steph said I'm not gonna lie I'd buy that on a t-shirt <laughs> I mean, it didn't come out too bad, not too shabby. I was a little worried about this when I was like, I'm going to do a live character design and whatever comes up. This is pretty wacky, but uh, I am enjoying it. I think that was, that's a pretty good, that's pretty good. Yeah, I like it. A luchador. Yeah, I was thinking luchador when I said wrestler. So can't put a luchador mask on him right now, but you know, that's like his alter, that's his alternate, you know, luchador mask though. Let's, um, Play with that for a second over here would be like i'm just gonna you know i like the idea of like this is such a challenge for artists to like can you like study to draw like study things to draw them in your sketchbook but then recall them from memory like so you know i've looked at luchadors before I've drawn some luchadors in the past as well I'm trying to think like well, let's see here I'm just going to draw a little luchador head like what if it was a because he does have that shape right like this, this shape and if that was his eyes Just like commas. Now I'm just kind of having fun. Luchador masks are kind of fun to draw. And probably since he was. picturing like the straps wouldn't wouldn't like go all the way around his his, his um his big monkey head <laughs> thinking of like the fire of his suit and then we might just put some like you know rhinestones or something like that on there right the monkey mouth and I think I, he actually had like a little bit of a like a chin chin hair kind of actually a little chin beard thing there That's kind of luchador-ish. Like, is he a man? Is he a monkey? Is he a wrestler? He had to retire after the wood chipper accident. Right. And then he became a... <laughs> yeah. In an El Mariachi band. El... Or maybe just like a pickup hockey league around the town, something like that. Right. That looks pretty good. That's good. All right, cool. So tomorrow there will be a we went for 40 minutes tonight. That's pretty good. Tomorrow we will do the live stream for the members only at noon. And then next week I'll probably start the 7 a.m drawing club again so i know many people will be watching it in replay but um yeah 8 p.m streams for me have been tough this week it's been a lot harder so i'm, I'm fresh to do it in the morning um but if, in the meantime if anybody has any questions please hit us up thanks for watching one last look here at senior rufus chonk mcmaster's with his weird eyeballs and his phones. And the, the basic tip is, you know, for 
character design is just like have fun with it. Start with a small, tiny silhouette, find the shape that you like, and then just once you have that organic shape, then just blow that shape up, start fooling with it, put whatever the right, if the writer wants something, if you don't know what the, if you're just making it up yourself, write down a random list of things or pull something out from your story. It's pretty easy to do, not easy to do, but it's fun to do. That's the most important thing. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you all enjoy uh, your evening and I'll see you tomorrow, some of you, and I'll see some of you um, again next week. If you have other suggestions for exercises or you want to do more of these character designs, do you want to do scribble challenges, would you like to do the random dice rolls? Let me know what you would like to see more of on the nightly streams like half hour or the morning the daily stream we'll call it the daily streams um what's fun for you that's why i'm here and what what do you need how how much value can i bring you um appreciate it david said fun this definitely makes me sketch faster and looser the time limit makes you think quick and cut down details i thought about really sticking to that time limit too and maybe having a couple different timers like 10 minute timer um i i always have the half an hour timer there just to keep myself uh, from going too far over last night we went like an hour because i was showing all the junk in my office but um yeah it's just fun i just want to keep it kind of loose and evolve what the streams look like over time and i'll see you all later thanks again for watching Adios.